Kentucky Country Day School is gearing up to host its largest fundraiser of the year. Of course, with COVID, the event is going virtual, but there's even more ways for everybody here in the community to get involved and to help out. I'm pleased to introduce my guest here now is Peter Hustis. He's the head of the school. Thanks, Peter, for joining us. Oh, it's my pleasure. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. First of all, tell us a little bit about KCD, how you guys are doing right now, and also about this special event called KC Date. Sure. I appreciate the time to do so. KCD is a independent school with uh, grades JK through 12. We have approximately 800 students on campus, 150 faculty on campus, and we are a school that really prides itself on offering a bevy of opportunities for students and families to participate in the life of our school, whether that is academic, artistic, or athletic. We have an extensive number of courses. We have an unlimited number of programs, opportunities, and available to the kids. And we are offering, at this point, over 72 different athletic teams to participate with as well. Your biggest fundraiser, I know you guys are so excited and you really rely yeah. on this event to bring Thank the you. community together, but it certainly helps your school throughout the year. It really does. KC Date is by far our largest uh, fundraising activity during the course of every school year. We are roughly 90% uh, tuition dependent, which means uh, approximately 10% of the cost of operating our school, the cost of, op of offering all those opportunities I mentioned, uh, we rely on fundraising to help us close that gap. And KC Date, again, is, is our biggest opportunity to do so during the course of the year. And as you said, it's typically a great opportunity to bring the entire community together in one space and celebrate not just who we are as a school, but where we're headed as a school. And this year we've had to do so virtually. And how will this event be spread out? You said over a couple of weeks? We do, we have several weeks of, of really two different activities. Uh, we have some auction items that are up for bid at this point, and you can do that by uh, checking out our website at uh, kcd.org. And then we also have some uh, really exciting raffles going on as well. I believe we are the only school in town that is raffling off a car. So we're really excited about that as well. Oh, hey, that's a draw right there. What other right. uh, auction items do you think are really gonna pull people in? You know, we've got some really exciting things uh, available through that auction. Uh, we are very fortunate that we had a World Series champion uh, amongst our alumni last year. So Will Smith, who plays for the uh, LA Dodgers, he's been good enough to donate a couple of different items. So we had some exciting options there. Uh, we have multiple uh, gift certificates, so we've got hundreds of dollars worth of local uh, restaurant gift certificates that are up for auction. And then again, uh, from a raffle standpoint, uh, arguably our biggest gift, uh, our biggest raffle item is that car. So we have an, an Audi Q3 available uh, to those who win the raffle. And uh, for a $100 ticket, you can enter that raffle and we're only selling a thousand tickets. So the odds are pretty good. And the winner of that raffle can certainly drive that car home or take $30,000 home, and it's the, uh, the winner's choice. You know, after a year like so many people have had, that sounds like a really great, great way to kind of turn things uh, around. One of the other items I, um, I, I'm looking at as well is uh, Chef Anthony Lamas of Ceviche yes. also offering, I know people are tired of cooking, folks. This is a great <laughs> way to have um, just kind of this custom dinner party. Tell us about this. Well, that's an exciting opportunity for you and, and some of your closest friends to spend an evening uh, with, with obviously a very talented and well-known chef here in town um, to learn not just uh, kind of what, what tastes good, which is an important part of that evening as well, but to obviously be part of the process itself and see how it's all put together, which is exciting for foodies like me. Oh, absolutely. I, it's just wonderful things. Also, a full set of braces. We know yeah. parents can use the help on that. <laughs> yes, I've got a teenager in the house now, so I very well may be putting my name in for that one. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so many great raffle items, so many great auction items. And um, Dr. Hustis, we just thank you for taking the time. We know that all the, all the money raised is going to go to a great cause, which is funding the operations and all the great work that you all do at KCD. Well, I appreciate you saying so. And I'm a little biased, as I should be, but I think there's some wonderful things happening here on our campus. And again, to help us close that gap, that roughly 10% gap of, of the operating mm -hmm. budget each year. This is one of those big events. So um, we all wish that we were doing it uh, traditionally. We were just, we were doing it closer together, uh, but the virtual option is something that we're excited to explore as well. And we're really pleased with the support that the community has stepped up with to date. Absolutely. If people want to find out more about KC Date, the dates when the auction items and raffle items will be released, all you have to do is go to kcd.org.